What's poppin'? It's Mello back at you with another video. Today we're gonna do a tutorial on how to make a Baton Rouge type beat for NBA Youngboy, you know, some of the Dirty K type shit, you know. We gonna get straight into it, but before we do, please put a like on the video. Thank you, let's get to it. First thing we're gonna start with is a piano, and we're gonna make a bass line, so we're gonna use a 1-6 progression in F, so that's gonna be, we're gonna do that right there, so. So this is what we're doing. As far as a pattern, it's gonna be built around a pattern like this. which is one of the most common 808 patterns, but what we're gonna do is put some notes in front of some of these notes. And those are the bass notes. Now what I'm gonna do is build some harmony. And now we're gonna do a top melody. So we got that, we're gonna duplicate it. Just a small ounce of variation. We got a melody right there we're gonna randomize it now i found this free kit on youtube you can find it just search for free nba young boy kit and you can see the ad all over the sounds timmy the hitman he compiled some of the best hits wawa sounds and stuff like that the folders are immaculate don't go out and buy this type of stuff it's out there for free and this is the best collection of these sounds that i've seen so go check them out the next thing i'm gonna do is fill this beat up with a lot of these We'll use that brass. Well, let's get some wah wahs. We're gonna get a. We're gonna get an assortment of wah wah sounds. It gives it that authentic Baton Rouge flavor. You know, I said I, I can't do a Louisiana. It give you that Baton Rouge flavor, baby. I can't. I can't do it. But I know exactly what vocal I'm looking for. It's gonna be the Pharrell. That's the Pharrell, but deeper. That's the one I want, that, that, that Pharrell right there. So we should be good, and I'm gonna begin to fill this beat out with some of these sounds. Now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blend these in, pan them, and all that good stuff now that I got all the notes laid out. Now the next step before we continue, now the next step before we continue is to hit it with a bass. I'm gonna use a bass guitar from a one-shot kit. Actually, my one-shot kit, what am I talking about? And all I'm gonna do is copy the lowest notes, paste them, Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of string harmony. Using another one shot, you can use whatever strings you wanna use. Let's 
excuses. Now, of course, most of this, I gotta level it out so it all fits. Last thing we're gonna do is add this organ. You like that, don't you like that? You like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one of those before that, so. Slot it back a bit. Now your boy did that on a MIDI controller. I know you didn't see it, but you know. Don't we all love clicking in? Yeah, but you, you, you gotta have that MIDI controller for some stuff, man. Let me just get a bell. I don't want it this high. So you see I layered these first two notes right here. Just lowered them down an octave. All right, so we have an extremely full melody. I'm gonna do some mixing, some editing, all that good stuff. You see what I did with that? I just put it all on a melody bus and now I can control the melody however I want, but that completes the melody. So now the first thing that we're gonna do is mute the bass and put in an 808 pattern. And the first thing I'm gonna do is actually lay down a clap. That's basically the beat right there, but what I am gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of ear candy. If you enjoyed this cookup and you want to see something similar, I got one right here. But if you want to work on your melodies, if you want to get better with all of that, I got something right here for you as well. I'll see y'all another day. Somehow, someway, I'm out.